Hey garden friends, welcome to another episode of AJ's Green Thumb. So in today's episode, I'm gonna tackle putting together a trellis. It's from Gardener Supply. It's called a Titan Squash Tunnel. And it's roughly six to seven feet high and roughly four feet wide. And it's going to go over this veggie bed right here and onto this veggie bed. All right, so the tools I have for this task are a step ladder, a Phillips screwdriver, and they had included some, um, some netting so that you can grow your squash and any other type of vining crops up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put all our male cross braces into our female cross braces. Go figure. Okay. Just like that. Here's the male cross brace. Here's the female cross brace. Yes, I'm following directions. Yes, I am following directions. <laughs> All right. Step three, slide an angled support onto both ends of each arch. Use your Phillips screwdriver to insert screws through the holes in the angled supports until the head of the screw is flush with the support. Take it from me, folks. Use a screwdriver. Do it manually. So you got that. Just got to make sure that these are all relatively straight in there. And again, do the manual route. Use a handheld screwdriver. So that step is done. Lean these against this wall. Just making sure these are all going in nice and straight. So when it is finally time to assemble the whole structure, we're not fumbling around. We're getting it plumb, straight and plumb. This one's called. So Moving on. Step four, stand the arches upright and place an assembled cross brace along the top of them. folks <laughs> so we had a little kerfuffle but after emulating what's on the directions or the instructions we kind of have an idea now so this curved portion must always face the interior of the structure okay so here's the middle arch here's where we're having our confusion Copy in the picture, this is the middle arch. This is your end. It's going under this, and then it, the end wrap and wraps around this. How? You pull it. This feels like I'm gonna break it. Okay. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. So. Well, better yet, I'll just bring this. We'll keep this stationary. And then I'll just bring my end forward. Or backward. Ta-da! Really. All right, so we're at step five. Attach the cross brace to each arch using the sure clips, which are these. It says, when attaching a cross brace, okay, which is this, using the sure clips, remember that the cross brace should always be on the outside of the arches and that the curved part which is this part right here, the curved part, okay, will always be facing towards the inside of the squash tunnel. So that was a little bit of the dilemma that we just had. So now that we have all three hoops or arches attached to that center cross brace, we'll move on to the next step. This is how it looks right now, guys. This is not engineered by NASA, okay? So we're not gonna get the perfect right angles and the perfect hypotenuses and all of that. It's gonna be as sturdy as possible. Like I said, I'm gonna get some rebars to secure the structure. Once we have vines on this thing, we would barely be able to tell any imperfections that are there. So let's move on. <laughs>
All right, garden friends, this is a wrap. It's been fun. We got the squash trellis tunnel up. I mean, it's not perfect, which is fine. I'll spend the rest of the daylight to go ahead and just kind of adjust everything to make sure it's just right and level. But um, I appreciate you guys hanging with me. If you stuck around this long, you're good because this literally took about an hour and a half to put together with two people. Um, again, thanks for hanging with me and see you in the next video. AJ's Green Thumb.